Okay, here I'm going to show you how to change out a couple pickups on this Telecaster Nashville Strat or uh, Nashville style uh, Telecaster. Uh, I've already put a new Chopper T, Demarzio Chopper T, in here, and now I'm going to put a Area T DP417 and a Virtual Vintage Heavy Blues 2 DP. 409 both from DiMarzio so um, first thing I do I already removed these uh, these screws here one here one here so take those out and then you are presented with this uh, mess of wires here probably first thing I need to do though first uh, is uh, take off this pit guard so I'm gonna do that real quick Okay, so you can tell I took out the screws all around this thing. And um, also, what I do sometimes, I put in some wood filler. If I have any screws that seem like they might be a little bit loose, um, I put a little bit of a wood filler into the, uh, the uh, holes there so that when I put the screws back in, they're nice and tight. Okay, so these... Um, this is a little bit different than factory because um, when I put the chopper T in, I went ahead and grounded these things out a little better than what the factory had uh, had them grounded. So um, they're going to be a little bit different here, but this right here is just grounding. All this metal stuff here is just for grounding. So you want to have your guitar grounded really well or else you're going to get some buzz whenever you plug it into an amp. Okay, I tried to put some wood filler in here, but it wasn't coming out very well, so... Um, yeah, once you get the wood filler in there, just press a little bit of it in there with your finger. It wipes off real easy. It's not, it's not very gooey or messy or anything. Okay, so I filled these holes, um, these wood holes, some wood filler. Uh, we got this thing, the electronics here are kind of exposed. I got... I put duct tape on these last time because I didn't have any electrical tape, but either way it works to help kind of keep from grounding out and shorten some of this stuff. I got, I pretty much run extra ground wire to everything just to make sure that everything is really, really well grounded. So we come over here, we look at these. It looks like all of these are, um, there's a red one here. That's from the DiMarzio that I installed already. The white wires are going to be the ones where we're going to replace with the red. And then the green wire, as you can see, I may be doing a bad job shooting here, sorry. The green wire, as you can see, is going to the back side of this uh, volume pot. So that's what pretty much what we're going to be doing here with these new pickups. We're going to be putting the red, the red wire here. The green wire is going to be going there. So, um, I've got a, well, I guess it's a professional s series sort of, uh, soldering iron here, but you can get, and that, and that thing on eBay only goes for like 40 bucks. And if you plan on doing much, um, soldering at all or fixing your equipment, fixing friends' equipment, making cables or anything like that, it's a good investment. So here we go. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to desolder these joints and then um, pull them apart and uh, solder the new ones back on. Okay, so um, I had a problem here. Um, as you can tell, this is a Nashville style telly. And these two holes here um, are made for Stratocaster sized pickups. Well, I bought this little uh, lipstick style pickup, the Area T from DiMarzio, and the holes on the lipstick style pickups are narrower than they are on the Strat style pickups. So, so I have this um, lipstick pickup holes. here. Um, as you can tell, 
hopefully. I'll line up one hole. They don't exactly match. Anyway, so I found this pick guard online on Craigslist actually. And um, it is designed for a normal telly for the lipstick style. As you can tell, it's a nice perfect fit there. And but it doesn't have another hole, so um, I've already done this on the back. I lined, I basically just lined these two up as best I could, and I took a magic marker and traced the outline here. Um, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut out the majority of this here, and then I'll probably take that grinding stone and try to make it nice and smooth around here, and then I'm gonna have to drill out a couple holes for the screws. All right, so I put this um, this, this uh, old pig guard on here, and I'm just going to drill it out in the middle to have a starting point for my blade. I got that going. I got that going there. Okay, so I attached this grinding stone to my drill. And um, we're going to see if we can smooth out these edges and make it nice and pretty. Okay, so um, my roommate had this good idea. We're going to check this thing and see how close we are to fitting. We're pretty close. It's not a perfect cut here. This is the first one I've ever done. <clears throat> but we're going to go ahead and take this Dremel tool here and see if we can grind off the rough edges and get this looking good. All right, we've got it rounded out here. I just got the cap to this um, to this thing here to show you that it fits. And because we kind of had to do a little extra modification, the holes don't exactly line up. I got this bit here which fits perfectly through this hole, which you need to make sure so that your screw holes are going to match. And then I'm just going to I'm just going to put a hole. Okay, so I got one of these soldered on here. As you can tell, right there, and um, stuck the ends of the other one through here, and we're gonna go ahead and solder them on as well, and then um, yeah, should be pretty much done after that. Put the pit guard on, the new pit guard that we drilled and uh, and um, hollowed out and everything, and um, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I got this area T soldered on. Got it here, and the green and gray are going to ground. Um, these are our two pickups, ready to go. And this is our new, it's backwards there, it's our new modified pick guard. And I actually had to use this, I had to use the screws from the old Strat style um, pickups that were in the old pick guard because the threading is a little different than the ones that came with the Area T. So the ones that came with the Area T, the holes are a little smaller, as well as the thread is a little different on these screws. So be careful not to, um, to put the larger threaded screws in the smaller threaded holes of this uh, Area T. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on here real quick. Okay, I'm having a little problem here. Um, my new Area T screws are too long um, looks like there's already a hole here from somebody it wasn't me I don't know what it was and so what I did is I just basically I pressed really hard on that indention there and it might actually already be in the wood I maybe should check and see well uh, pretty much got it all put back together here I had to actually um, haul this out a bit more so that my pickup would turn um, it's really tight in there, but I've got the screws back in here, and um, pretty much all we got to do now is restring it, set the height on all these, and um, uh, make sure that this switch in all positions that the volume level is pretty constant, and that's kind of kind of what you do last after you've got it restrung. Thanks for watching, and. Hope this was a good tutorial. Hope it was um, beneficial. And um, don't forget to rate it and watch some of my some of my videos, some of my songs. 
right then. Pass it on to your friends and family. Thanks for watching. Bye.